I'm Tim Ruskett. This is the Meet the Press Take Two Web Extra. We are joined by Stephen Colbert, out of character. Hi, Tim. <laughs> How are you? So great to be here. How do you prepare for your show? Uh, I read a lot of newspapers and watch a lot of news, and I've got 12 really great writers. And then we chop wood all day long. Uh, we show up, you know, ex exasperated or angry about something, and we try to turn that into jokes six hours later. I read a wonderful quote from you. You were talking about humor, and particularly after S September 11, 2001. Yeah. And you said you can't laugh and be afraid at the same time. Mm -hmm. That's not a philosophical statement. I think it's a uh, physiological statement. You, when you laugh, you're not afraid. And sometimes you laugh because you're afraid, but when you laugh, the laughter goes away. And it's not just whistling past the graveyard. It actually just goes away when you're laughing. And uh, that's why I think I don't think I could ever stop doing what I'm doing, because I laugh all day long. And if I didn't, I would just cry all day long. You have three kids, and you said you don't want them to watch your show because you want them to know you, Dad. Right, right. Yeah, I also, two reasons. One is, you know, I'm insincere on the show. And my character is very sincere, but, but I, I, you know, I look like their dad, and I sound like their dad pretty much. I shout more than their dad, hopefully. Um, but... Uh, I just say things I don't mean, and I, a child just is not going to know that that's a character, and they're going to think that I don't mean it when I say that I'm proud of them, or I don't mean it when I say that I love them, and uh, I'm going to tuck them into bed one night, and I'm going to say I love you, honey, and they're going to say that's good, Dad, it's very dry. Is it hard it. going in and out of character? No, no. Uh, you know, I started at Second City in Chicago, and the rule there, or the, the, old, the old saying was, wear your character as lightly as a cap. And, you know, you can take them on and off as you need. And on the show, too. Like, I'll have, I'll have on, you know, uh, someone who was there to talk about um, genetics or something, and, and I'll dial the character down very low. And or I'll have Tom DeLay on, and I'll dial him up as high as I can. Um, so it's a sliding scale, depending on the situation. But it is interesting, in your program, you're not afraid to take on the press corps, the president, issues. I mean, there, you do no it in a humorous way. Yeah, but there are no consequences. But you're still informing, educating, and entertaining people. Well, that's, we, ha we have to get, you have to get the education out for people to get the joke, because the playing field we're on has is, is got to be laid out for them. And so if they don't understand the news story, they're not going to get the joke. And I think a lot of people, you know, people say young people get their news from Jon Stewart and, and myself and, and other late night people, but I think they wouldn't get the joke if they didn't know some of the news already. I think, that's, I think those studies are a little off. Before we go, you got a terrific mom. You talk about her all yeah. the time. Say hello to her. Hi, Mom. Is this what? Hello. <laughs> Hi, Mom. I love you. Happy birthday. Happy, yeah, <laughs> not quite. Almost. I don't want to rush it. Stephen Colbert, thank you. Thanks so much for having me on.